Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to attempt to make some custom watercolours from the pigments I got in the sketchbox. I've never really wanted to try this before because I've always been like, where are you making a mess? But I've got the things now, so everything I'd need to make me own watercolours. So I will give it a whirl. Um, I've just got prepared. These are the things that I will be using. Um, yes, so I will get back to you when I start creating. Well, I'm having a whale of a time here eh? mixing these colours. So, uh, just see if I'm in frame. Yes. Um, I've already mixed these colours up here. Well, I'll show you how I do it. There's no specific instructions I can show you, but just what I've been doing is writing down here um, the amount of pigment I've been putting in. Like in the first, in the first one, I put um, one scoop of blue in, one scoop of yellow, and five drops of pigment. In, uh, five drops of what is it called? gum arabic but um sometimes when you're mixing it'll get really sticky stuck up so you've just got to add a few more drops of uh, gum arabic in this second one i use two yellow and one red and then seven drops of gum arabic but you get the gist of um what i'm doing just messing around <laughs> um what I suggest you do is, if you're mixing your colours up in the pans, I've used the bigger pans, not the smaller ones. Uh, I have got the smaller ones over here. I might, if I've got like dregs of colour, just pour it in that. But um, I've got this um, little tool here. I don't know what it's called, probably a mixer. Um, I found it really good because when you're mixing the colour, there's still some um, pigment in the corners. So what I was doing is just tapping it down like this and so the colour will go to the bottom. Mix it up, but this helps to get right in. Can you say right into the corners to get that pigment and mix it up? Um so we'll see when I might let these dry and then um try them on paper. Oh I don't know what I'll do yet. See how I go. But uh it says when the water out the gum arabic evaporates that's when the watercolors start hardening so what i'm going to do now is just do uh, the three primary colors um this blue i don't know if you can see it looks more purple than blue but it does say it's primary blue but um i don't think so and this red is supposed to be primary red but um it seems to be very overpowering. But, uh, so yeah, I'll put them in here. So you put your, um, do I need to go in further so you can see? I'll just see if you can. Let me see, there, that's it. So I, now, this is the little spoon you got, and I also suggest you have some baby wipes to hand because things get really, really messy. And also a kitchen towel, because when I was mixing it up, so I could see the colour that I'd made, I don't know if you can see, I was just wiping this on here, so I could see the colours. Um, so, this is my first time, by the way, so probably made a mess. I mean, that, this one here seems to have lumps in it. So hopefully I have um, mixed it thoroughly. If not, I think that when I add the water, those bubbles are going to have some pigment still left in. But it's not all, all an experiment, isn't it? So, yeah, I'll just show you these tools. I got these off Amazon. Um, they were only, I think, 4 99 And you got... 
two of these stary tools i think they use these in um what's it called resin epoxy that resin stuff anyway and you get two porky tools and two little spoons as well so let's see so that's got red on i think i'll go in with the red but i would have preferred a um post box red to this color because it just seems more brown I should have put a bit more than that in but I'll go in with another scoop but because you don't get much in it I don't want to waste it so I'm trying to be very careful and it took me forever opening this uh, blue one up I just couldn't open it but finally got into it but you don't get as much blue as what you do the yellow and the red but I'm finding that the pigment yellow is much uh, I'm using much more of that than the other overpowering colours so I'll just move these out the way because I'm very clumsy and I was there uh, I think I am going to use this as well just to store colours in as well because I can always wrap it in uh, cling film so I don't get ziggy hairs all over it right oh look there's a ziggy hair it reminds me of that um, the peerless watercolours because my fingers are staining but um, I mean I am sort of enjoying this, but um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I'll try it out in the future, cause I watched a few videos of people making like their own handmade watercolors to sell, and they had a mortar and pestle, doing it that way. But I suppose that's all all good if you're going to make large batches of the color. But um, if I was to use a mortar and pestle just for like a small amount like this. It's going to be a hell of a lot of waste. So, I just think it's ideal just to put it in a pan. And I mean, these uh, pans are pretty cheap. I got them off Amazon. I think I got about 50 for just a couple of pounds. So, you've got to be very, very thorough. And I mean, I have put enough gum arabic in it. But if there wasn't, it gets all stodgy like when you, you know, when you're making hot chocolate uh, in a cup and then you add some like, well, I always add a bit of water in just so I can mix it so it doesn't stick to the bottom when I'm, I pour the boiling water in and it gets all stodgy. That's what this reminds me of. But I think it's much easier to um, when you're just adding the one pigment in. It's um, it's mixing better just with the one pigment. But you've got to make sure you get all the um, powder mixed in. I'm still in frame. Yes. I mean, my favourite colour is green. Absolutely love green. So that's why there's... Uh, can you see them? That's why there's three greens. But um, it was strange. Uh, where is it? The I put two yellow and one blue in. And I got this colour. And then I only... With the next one, I put two yellow and half a blue. And it just seems like it's the same colour. I don't know. I mean, when I start using the paintbrush and adding it to paper, I might find that there's um, a slight difference. But see this, it's like a really, really dark red. It's more like a, a brown than a red. I'll just show you what it looks like on the um, paper towel when I wipe this off. There, it's like a purpley, really, really dark red. I don't think that's a primary red at all. 
So maybe if I do this myself in the future, I will try to get the true primary colours. They're really dark. So that's the red. Now for the blue. I remove that right over there because you know where I'm like. Add the gum arabic. Right, I'll just have to wipe this uh, tool off. Because I don't want to make the mistake of using a baby wipe on this little um, spoon. Because all the pigments will stick to it. Right, now for the blue. I think I'll just add this much. In this blue, it reminds me of a, a lilac -y blue. And just tap it down to get all the pigment off the sides. And mix. I wanted to make a really nice orange. But it's just gone too dark, so I'm just going to have to have a real good mess around with it to try and get the colours I want. Because I'm thinking about doing a few paintings just using these colours, these pigments. And I'd like to say that you could hear the um, pigments crunching around so you knew when that stopped you wouldn't have any more but you can't. It's all by sight. I mean on which one was it? On that brownie type one I thought I got it thoroughly mixed and when I sloshed this to the side there was still lots of pigment in it. See, so I just get it up, up and down the sides, in the corners, to make sure I've got all that powder. Right, now I think that's it. And I mean, I'm not, it's not like I'm going to sell these, so I know I've probably made loads of mistakes. But just for me on personal use. And there's the, that's the blue. See, it's like a, a, like a, what would you say, a cornflower blue? I wouldn't say that's a primary blue. But still nice, isn't it? Now for the yellow. No. Right, wipe this off again. I see I'm going to run out of this yellow pretty quickly. Oh look, I just hit waste, look, it's going to all... I think you're up got it all over me first. Keep scratching me nose. And Ziggy's sitting on the windowsill watching me. He's been very good because he hasn't attempted to jump over this.
I mean, feel free to fast forward this because, I mean, it must be very boring to watch me mixing <laughs> these colours, but I'm quite fascinated with it. Do you think I should add a bit more into that? For it is a large pan, isn't it? No, I think I'll just leave that because I'll be wanting to use that yellow to mix colours. Right. And this is what the yellow looks like. Uh, I think that's the only true primary colour, the yellow. Right, so what I'll do now is get mixing, um, experiment with some more colours. So I will put you on pause and then I'll come back and we'll do some swatching. So I forgot I had this, um, what do you call this? It's like a metallic colour. Um, where's the colour on it? Take my glasses off. Antique silver. I forgot I had this. Now I don't know how you do this. I don't know if you like wait till you've made the colours, then put it on the paper, then add this. I've already mixed some up like I done the primary colours. You see there, and it looks quite nice. So I thought I'd have a little bit of an experiment and I put um where's my sheet of paper? I put two yellow scoops in. Yeah, two yellow scoops in and half a silver. And I got this uh, strange colour. It looks green. I thought it would have went like a sparkly yellow, but it looks more green. So then I put, um, oh look, I haven't wrote it down. I put half a silver in and two blue in. And I've got this very nice colour here. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, Oh, I hope I haven't run out of them. Let's see. Oh no, I've still got some more. I'm going to do a red and put some silver in. Because the red is overpowering. I think I'll only put one scoop in. And half a silver. Right, where's my little spoon? Right, that's already had silver in. So I'll put the in frame, yeah. Put the gum Arabic in. Then I'll add the silver. Right, I'm just going to add this much. I mean, I would never have thought of using a um, metallic antique silver colour in paint making, but it's quite fun. I mean, I just love that. The blue, eh? The bluey colour. Um, so, because this red is overpowering, I might just add this bit in. And see what we get with that. That um, silver might just overpower the red. Oh, that's um, that's really nice. It's like a, what would you say, like a metallic, metallic aubergine. Do I want to waste them? And I hope they look just as fabulous as they do in the pan on the paper. Because normally when you use those metallic colours, you either got to use black watercolour paper 
or it's on white, it's only just like a, a little bit of a hint of metallic. Yeah, I think I've got all the pigment. I think I should have used a bit more than that, but never mind. I'm really liking that colour. Right, so I've done the yellow. I can't understand how that uh, that yellow has gone like a greeny colour. Hmm. Maybe I should put more silver in it. I think I'll try that now. And this is the colour that I've just... Yeah, it's like a, a metallic aubergine. That is very nice. So, what was I going to do? Oh, if I do a blue and yellow. No, but if I do a blue and yellow, that'll be green. And that'll just end up like that again. So. Very messy it is. Yeah, I think, even though I said I wouldn't try it again in the future, I think I will. I'll, uh, and I'll get a black and a white pigment so you can make more hues. Probably get a really light sap green. Right, so what was I going to do? The yellow again. Put loads of yellow in and then a tiny bit of silver. Oh, well. Contamination. Cross contamination of colours. It's a shame we only got this uh, one spoon. It would have been handy to have three of them. Right. Now we're just a smidgen of the silver. Right, and still in frame, yes. Need to add some more of this. See, it's getting stodgy now. I think that's gone like a greeny colour. There must be some sort of pigment in the silver that when it's mixed with yellow, it turns green. I wonder if um, it's got blue in it. I wouldn't know how you make a silver. Is it? Well, black and white is like grey, isn't it? I don't know. And it's a metallic as well. Yeah, that's so strange, that. It's gone like a um, green again. Yellow, so yellow and silver makes green. Metallic silver. I mean, I do love green, so it's not like it's a waste, is it? Hey, look, that's so strange. Maybe if I add a little bit of blue in it. Yeah, should I do that and see what happens? Right. I hope it doesn't go muddy. 
So, oh, look at Ziggy hair. So I'm just going to add this much blue. And see what happens. Hasn't really changed. Just add a touch more of this in. No, it still looks green. Do you think I should risk? one more spoonful of blue and see what happens oh look hairs right i'll add this much blue and i hope it doesn't go muddy Oh look, I'm making a hell of a mess now. Add a bit more. I feel like a witch making portions. No, it hasn't changed colour. I mean, yeah, blue and yellow does make green. <laughs> but I thought with a silver, it might... Make it go another colour. It's a bit stodgy. Well, it was near enough that colour when I just added the um, yellow into it. So I just... I don't know. It's quite a nice colour anyway. Well, I didn't add any more pigment because I think it'll just stay this colour and I'll be wasting all the pigment when I've got so many other colours I want to try out. Right. I'll see what it looks like on the on the kitchen towel. Yes, metallic green, very nice. So this is where I'm up to now. I've made 20 of my own colours. There's the uh, primary colours and the silver, antique silver. Um, I've had so much fun with this, uh, making these colours. Um, I haven't got much yellow left. Ran out of that pretty quickly. I've got loads of the red left. And a little bit of the blue left. So what I think I'll do, I'll leave these overnight to dry. Then do another video of me swatching my colours. Um, so thank you for watching. Johnny signing out. See you bye.